we are gathered here in the site and in the face of this congregation to join together this man, Damilola, and this woman, Emanuela, in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God himself, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ alone and beautified with his presence. And first miracle that he wrought in Cana, Galilee, and is commended in Holy Week to be honorable among all men, and therefore not by any to be entered into or taken in hand unadvisedly, lightly or wantonly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly, and in fear of God, duly considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. First, it was ordained for the increase of mankind, according to the will of God, and that children might be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord, and to the praise of His holy name. Secondly, it was ordained in order that the natural instincts and affection implanted by God should be hallowed and directed aright for those who are called of God to this holy estate to continue bearing pioneers of living. Thirdly, it was ordained for the mutual society, help and comfort that the one ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity. Into which holy estate these two persons present now come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together, let him now speak, or else character forever hold his peace. Laminola and Emanuela, I require and charge you both, as you will answer at the dreadful day of judgment, when the secret of all the hands shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any impediment, why ye may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured that so many as are coupled together otherwise that God's word doth allow are not joined together by God. Neither is their matrimony lawful. No from both. We shall take the next theme, item number five, God give us Christian homes. Please be seated as we take the name and the last verse, please rise. Be seated as we take the name and verse four, please rise.
experience.
Praise the Lord. My wife and I will be reading from 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 13. I read. If I speak in the tongues of angels, if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have God, I'm a noisy dog. For a climbing symbol. And if I have the right power and understanding all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to move mountains, but do not have God, I am not good. If I give away all my possessions, and if I land over my body, so that I may, and if I burn the body so that I may burn, but do not have God, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful for anyone. Or rude. It does not insist on its own. It is not irritating or resentful. It does not enjoy the wrong doing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and deals all things. Love never ends, but as for promises, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know in part and we prophesy only in parts. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. But now we see in the new, dimly, but then we see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I know, I will know fully, even as I am fully known. I am now, faith, hope, and love of God. These three, and the greatest of these is love. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A kind of gathering and ceremony like this, a bride and a groom invited one man that dispenses his traditions. What would have been an embarrassing function of this moment? My brother and daddy brother have also invited him this morning. And what I'm about to do is they are acknowledging his presence and they are sat to bless the service. He was our Wonders, great are thou, joy of all, such are our hearts. 
that deity, holy, mighty, immortal, redeemer from the ages past, central strength and song, who have given to gain salvation, the refuge, he penetrated with temptation, and ever present, testing, where we have been troubled. Lord of Sabbath, Lord of hosts, God of hosts, the everlasting God, creator of the ends of the earth, light of our life, son of our life, star of our hope, star of our night, all life immense, unfathomable death. Holy is your power above all heights. What wisdom that obtains the sun to rule the day and the stars to rule the night. Yea, greater wisdom that the sun and moon to mark the months. Lord of years for ten days of time. Strength and song in the heat of battle. Man of war in the day of battle. Lord of battle, God of armies. You are the living God and you forever. You are someone who never dies. Always has been, always will be. You are living in the past. This is the everlasting age is past, and right now is the last eternity ahead. You have never not been. You exist endlessly. Age has won. Older than time, there is no record in the length of your days. The number of your years is incalculable. Your workmanship is marvelous, amazing to think about, and how well I know it. Over two billion people, maybe over two billion ways. Not to say that these are alive. They are alive.
video is uh, and this is my family. And the respective families. May your union be exquisitely sweet and gloriously ever association of us. We will charge to be the end of our happiness and purpose in life. We expect our spouse to be the one who lies to shine down or the days of the distress who will come to rescue. To be completely perfect, put together, to completely submit their needs and wants to us, to ours, to assist us in the achievement of our goals, all while filling us with the love, purpose, and fulfillment we have yet to be able to manage. We expect our spouses to give us what only Christ can give us. Now, uh, since what's your name? You are you are you are you are you no no your other name yes Emmanuel Michael Kamala it is good looking it is your Dashing Prince, the one for you, but it's not Jesus. He's going to let you now. He's going to make mistakes. He will disappoint you from time to time. If you are looking for him to complete you, you will be sorely disappointed. Only Jesus can give you the happiness and purpose that you are looking for. The same. She's your princess. And I know that is, isn't she? The sweetest and the best. But she's not Jesus. She's going to make mistakes. She's going to show her perfections. She's going to. Be a human being. She's going to be less than perfect. Even though we think she's perfect now. Only Christ can give you the hope and the purpose that you ultimately think. Folks, when we set our spouses or potential spouses up with expectations that only Jesus can fulfill. And then we set them up for failure. The marriage isn't about finding the one person who will make you complete and take all your problems and loneliness away. Then what's the purpose of marriage? Marriage is about happiness, about companionship, about openness, being naked and unashamed, about procreation, but ultimately it's about God. God created marriage to give us a living picture of Christ's love for the church. That's why the Bible says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loves the church. And wives, submit to your husbands as the church submits to Christ. Marriage, ultimately, is a spiritual endeavor. Without Christ's help every step of the way, we will fail. When you pursue marriage solely as a means to stay happy, you will ultimately be disappointed. But if you can approach marriage with the idea that it's more about making you holy than making you happy, you will discover the true meaning of marriage, especially as outlined in the vision side. And in the first reading as well, just before that beautiful passage you read, the same thing. What the marriage is great for is showing your faults, your selfish tendencies, the little parts of you that you can hide from everyone else except your spouse. As you struggle as two simple human beings trying to make a marriage work, you will continue to realize your dependence on God for success. As you continually invite God into your marriage to change you, not your spouse. 
to change you into the husband or wife he needs to be. You will experience his presence in ways you never thought possible, whether you feel it or not. The experience of his presence as you trust more and more in him is guaranteed. And indeed, he says, greater things you will do. You'll begin to be a better husband or wife. You'll begin to look more like Jesus. And in the process, you'll discover that deeper joy and purpose that you've been looking for all along. Third country, marriage is the most beautiful experience in the world. Daniela and Emmanuel. I rejoice with you as we begin this journey together. Congratulations. Fathers, 
in all the difficulties and dangers of this earthly life, may they look to you and only you, their shield and defender, their guide and their steed, till they come to your everlasting kingdom. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, our Redeemer and our King. The next prayer on page 10, shall we all say it together? O oh, Almighty and everlasting God, we beseech thee to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty perfection, both fear and ever, you may be preserved in body and soul, who are God and Savior. Jesus Christ. The next prayer is to be said by the couple audibly to each other.
is in joy and thanksgiving that God has granted unto all of us to witness this marriage today. I pray that as we are here this marriage, the marriage with the land of God, you are the novice. And so it's fascinating, it's fascinating to God and how to present the marriage certificates to Miss Mara to Miss Daminota and Mrs. Mrs. I think I told you to do something Mrs. Emanuela Mrs. Emanuela by Daminota There are two copies. One is to be returned to the registry within seven working days. Uh, the strike or no strike. Okay. And uh, the second one usually is kept by the wife who has changed her name. You will not see this certificate for the wrong reasons. When it's time to collect this and you will need this. I understand the end that we will be here through Jesus Christ. And cross and fire as a go back to us. Please, and as a go back, I want to congratulate the couple of today, the couples of today, the grandparents. And I pronounce the grandparents of it. It is going to be Jesus Christ. I will give you good news. My daughter had twins about six weeks ago. And then, praise the Lord. So, you have to meet me. You better, you don't hear. They are ready. You hear? You shall be well with you in Jesus' name. May God bless your home, your generation. All the rest that are behind them or ahead of them, they are marked out for greatness in Jesus' name. And you will enjoy a super all of them because we're all space. Joseph, 
Assistant General Pastor, Glory Tabernacle Ministries in Africa. Please come and join us. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Tupe Banjo, the Deep Center of God, Prince Fires, Kathy, Texas, USC. We shall hope to celebrate the wedding here. Let's appreciate them. I can see he looks like Trump. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He was shaking his head. I see he was there. God will continue to honor you in Jesus' name. Mr. and Mrs. Rex Wakama, the Vichy Temple of God, Prince Fires, Anti Texas, please. Let's appreciate them. Pastor and Mrs. Gatte Ojo, Comfort of Christ Gospel Mission, Abuja. Please help. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate them. Pastor and Mrs. Shady, Ade Lenny, the Worship Center, Ojo Ju, Lagos. Please. Let's appreciate them. Pastor Lenny, whatever the the deep centers of God, contact us. I think it's please to contact us. And uh, last but not the least, Pastor Perica Adewol. Kingdom Glory Prayer Ministries. Thank you. I also want to recognize uh, the leader of this church who is on a very big accent. And I want to also appreciate him because it is true grace that has allowed us to use this place. And I don't take things like this for granted. I know somebody wants to say what you talk about the inspiration. How much I think the constitution of prayer is But without any hesitation, we got to have permission to use this space. Please join me in appreciating very much in me and this I also want to appreciate Venerable Abbey Bola, one of his assistants here in the church. I want the Bright and good family to say a special thank you to Reverend Adekule Olajo. We answered them and we took them all the way on the journey. Personally, I thank you. God will bless and continue to reward you in Jesus' name. Yeah. They are very special to him. He had an assignment and he traveled abroad on Sunday, came back on Thursday night, on Friday was conducting the rehearsal, and today is conducting the wedding. We love you, Father, and we give you the same. And I also want to appreciate Edgar Pigwe uh, of RCCG Lagos, Pastor Adeliki, Bethel Covenant Church. Is that what okay, thank you all very much. Uh, personally, I'm the director of Chapel of Transformation. Thank you. And praise the Lord. My language is here. Praise the Lord. Uh, when you are thanking God for somebody that God is using her in your life. To give you comfort in the ministry. You cannot but praise God for that. Please, all of us, I want us to appreciate the principal school of nurses. Please get up the additional pieces of the The right is our nephew. And this, am I right? Okay. And uh, she's the one that has revived everything you have seen. 
God will stand in that for you in Jesus. Give you greater heights, God will promote you and your children and all that you lay your hands on in Jesus. And we are in church. I can say, I love you. And your husband should be able to accept it in his front. And we God to do to bless you mightily because God loves you even more in Jesus' name. You have to be good for me for this sort of matter.
Thank you. 